Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and look at my happy civilization. It's a rock. And and I don't even know where my residents are, because I have four, but they're I think they're hiding behind the rock. Anyways, welcome to these doomed isles, ladies and gentlemen. This is a card-based city builder, and uh, it's extremely addictive. It's one of those games that is easy to understand, but hard to master. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna go out and see how we can do. Now, I'll just give you the uh, brief overview of this game right now. We obviously have our top bar here. These are all of our resources, as well as followers. Currently, we have four, as I said. We have zero workers, because homeless people don't like to work in this game. So we should probably plop down a cabin here, so we at least have two workers, not that they can do much right now but hey at least they can when uh, we get cards that actually have jobs moving on though we have happiness which is a big part of this game and then we have the generic stuff food wood stone iron that's how to build things gold buys you new cards and then faith plays a big role in this game as well you actually use faith to uh purchase each card essentially uh, now, every run, you have different prayers that you need to do. These are totally randomized. And for this run right now, I need to maintain eight followers. Wow, that's actually a lot. Uh, and also 90% or higher is a lot with happiness. For eight consecutive turns? Oh my god, the max turns, I believe, is 60. Uh, actually, turns remaining for this card, for whatever reason, is 51. So yeah, that this might be a hard run. I, these are totally randomized. I think my last run, I needed 70% for three followers, just to kind of show you how random this is. Defeat three waves of enemies without taking any of your buildings taking damage. That's impossible. Great, thanks. Uh, and I need to build two wonders. That can definitely be doable if we plan it out right. Now, a big part of this game, especially early on, is to connect to different lands. For every land you connect to, you get usually benefits. I was told later in the game, if you do connect to lands, bad things can sometimes happen. Maybe enemies spawn or something like that. So I have one land card right now. It actually shows the type of land at the top. It's very much Tetris based. Um, so we have this kind of thing. I don't think that will connect to that. No. I don't even know if this is part of my land, actually. I don't think it is because it's not technically connected. So I'm going to go right over here and we will work our way over there uh, next turn. Now, I don't actually want to put forest or rocks down yet just because our starting land is so small and I don't want to waste space. So we're going to hopefully, yes, get more land perfect and connect to our stone area. Deep in the caves, a strange device emits a glow that pierces the darkness. A static charge fizzes across the walls in which the device is embedded. A strange relic of a, a dead civilization. So I can either max out my stone and iron reserves, which is pretty good. Mind you, I don't have uh, huge reserves yet. Or I can gain the overcharge relic. I think I'm going to do that, and that should be a new card in my deck next turn, I believe. Uh, speaking of cards, let's put down some housing as well. And now everybody has a house. They just don't have a job to do. All right, so I am actually going to put these trees up in the top, only because I'm looking around, and a lot of these islands around me are stone. Like, we got really unlucky. We got some humans over here chilling, all sneaky-like. Why, why do they walk like that? Why are they sneaking? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think we'll run into stone problems this run, but trees might be an interesting one. There's a chest over there I'd like to get to. We should be able to bounce off these islands pretty easily because they're so close together. Uh, so yeah, very much going to try to advance my territory early on in this game. We have our first harvest. Now, uh, that's what when our gold comes into play. We have 34 gold right now, and you can use all that gold to buy cards, and you can buy a lot of them. So we're going to buy the fishing platform to deal with food. We don't have food problems yet, but we probably will be. I want more land cards, so we'll grab that. Um, cabins are always smart to get because you will run out of shelter soon. Panning huts are nice. I don't think we have to worry about being attacked anytime soon, so we don't need attack cards. Maybe getting a farm would be smart. Uh, again, more forest is always nice. I just did unlock the pie shop. 0 0.5 happiness for every one food produced by foragers in, in range. I, w I wonder why it's only foragers. I went into farms, so I don't know if I really actually want that card. And now I just realized I can't afford it anyway. So, uh, I guess we're not getting that card. All right. And there's no sense of refreshing because, uh, yeah, we don't be able to afford the majority of the cards. So we may as well just hold our gold till next season. All right. We finally have a job though. We have the panning hut. So this provides three gold. Uh, as long as there's one water tile in range. So we'll put that little, little guy right over there. And finally, my employees or citizens are doing some damn jobs for once. Not, not like it's their fault, though. I just can't find the damn cards. We have the world's smallest land card, so we may as well connect to this, and we may, should be able to use this. We are not getting lucky for the start of this game, for the record. I may as well just throw down an extra house for when we get new people. Winter is here. Can I please get some jobs? There we go. We got farming in the winter. Oh, wow. I didn't realize. Okay, so I did do a 
couple runs of this. My farms are always square. Uh, so the farms can be randomized as well. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, so I guess we'll put that over there like that. And they're going to go sneak over to their farm and start planting some crops in the middle of winter. I mean, I'm no farmer, but I don't feel like that's a smart time to do this. Now, I'm going to try and keep my homes around my um, shrine because I'm using a god that benefits from putting homes around the shrine. So that's why I'm doing it all around that. All right, and hopefully soon, I guess we can just uh, try to connect to more lands right now because we're not getting lucky with the jobs and whatnot. I think I'm going to make the big trek over to this land and we should be able to get there pretty soon. Spring is here, not liking any of these cards, and I am all out of faith. So just looking at my uh, stuff right now, we really got to figure out food. We have farms going on, obviously, but I'm hoping I can find that fishing platform in my deck. Ha <laughs> ha! Because that's going to be something that will help us immensely. Now, uh, fishing platforms do use these fish tiles. So I'm just looking around trying to find the most fishing tiles. We can also get a fishing boat that will help the fishing platform. So I think we're going to put this guy over here. And we get three to nine food per turn. Perfect. All right. Made the great trek over to Sheepland. What are we going to get? You get something random every time. Uh, your followers have captured enemy scouts. They claim to have abandoned their posts and begged to join your settlement. So I gain five followers or increase happiness to 100%. My happiness is not an issue right now. It will be if we gain these five followers, but I'm playing the long game right now. So I'm going to welcome them. Hopefully I don't regret that being that they are enemies. And we got to get some homes down now because we will have... Actually, we only have two that are homeless so i guess that was a good purchase we're just gonna find one more home for these guys and obviously get them some jobs once we finally get lucky and get some cards uh all right so cabin's gonna go down that's a no-brainer because anyone that's homeless uh does affect your happiness and we should be able to yes connect to the next island i'm gonna try and connect to all these islands because these things are fantastic i can max out my wood and stone i have zero in both so that would be great or happiness and faith it's tempting to do the face just because I get more cards then, but I am gaining face. So I think it would be smart to get wood and stone reserves right now. And we'll throw down the longbow tower just in case we get attacked soon here. I'm uh, just trying to figure out where I want to put this. Uh, I want room over here for a logging camp if we have space. So I think I'm just going to put this over here. All right. And new year and speak of the devil. We are being attacked. Unfortunately, did not put my longbow tower in a good spot. Look at the eyes on this guy. He is freaking out. Um, well, we may as well throw three in there. We should be able to hit them soon. I'm hoping I can get a meteor or something and just deal with these guys really quickly, though. Do I want to put down another fishing platform? We are dealing with food issues, so I guess that would be smart. And I think I see why we're dealing with food issues. There's no fish over there, unfortunately. So I'm going to put one down here. Uh, worry about that later, though. Let's see if we can get lucky and grab this treasure chest and see what that has. Inspire artisans. Gain Harvest Festival Relic. Gain two food per follower whenever you build a farm, windmill, or bakery. I don't build a lot of those. Or gain one to five happiness when you build a building. I think we're going to go for that one. Uh, just because that's going to be way more useful uh, more often. All right. We'll end turn. And the boats. Oh, they're going the wrong way. They're going the damn wrong way. Oh, this is bad. Okay, there we go. Now I get my freaking meteor. And it's one, but it's better than nothing. So drop that down. Goodbye. One boat. Unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough faith to put down another one. So we're just going to put some fish over by the fishing thing. I'm going to throw the... Oh, crap. The logging camp is bigger than I thought. So we'll put it up here for temp. And I'll put some trees around it when I get enough faith. All right. Thankfully, the boat hasn't made it to land. And good. We can get a javelinier. And we may as well get a longbow tower. Try and get lucky. Because these won't go in our hand. They'll just go into our deck. So it's not guaranteed we'll get them. I got... 13 gold left stone house seems pretty damn good plus five housing so we'll grab that and being that we're dealing with a lot of people now we want to upgrade our food storage and we have lots of rocks so this will be great as well actually and we'll just end off because we only had three gold anyways ah perfect okay we don't have to worry about these guys anymore goodbye and done how are we doing on our shops right now okay so i have one out of three waves defeated and i guess my buildings didn't take any damage so that's good Okay, uh, stone house. Yes, please. We'll grab that. That's plus five and extra faith as well, being that it's still going around my shrine. Uh, and then we will throw down a longbow tower on the other side of this island. This will obviously be our hub, so we want to keep this nice and safe. And we'll throw the granary down as well to start storing more food once we start getting more. We actually did take some damage on one of these buildings, so I'm going to 
heal those, make sure everything's good, and new year. Year four already. All right, and we got our lumber mill, so we get 11 wood per turn now. Nice. And we have made it to sheep area. Um, when a tree is removed, a new tree will grow in its space. Oh, that's actually great. Or I can max out my wood and gold reserves. Very tempting being that I'm low on gold, but I'm gaining 10 around. So I think I'm going to play the long-term strategy here. And being that we have this all wrapped around right now, we will be gaining trees all the time here. I essentially won't have to worry about tree tiles anymore if I don't need any more wood than this one logging camp. All right, finally a land tile. Can I? Yes, I should be able to connect over to Treasure Island. And this is why I wanted to go to these islands here. They're so close together. What do we get? Palisades and stone walls heal fully at the start of each turn. That would be great if we had any. Uh, and max out my wood and stone reserve. Stone's max and wood is almost max. So I guess we'll do this because we will get walls sooner or later. All right. And we just maxed out our happiness. So we're at 100% happiness. Oh, I still, I can't believe we haven't done any of these. Um, we are dealing with the eight followers with 90% or higher happiness. We were at 91. So good thing I used that. I just need to survive for four more turns to get that. I have found no wonders yet, so that sucks. Um, and so far, we haven't been attacked too much, but we should probably work on our defenses because that's a big prayer that's going to be difficult because uh, I do sometimes get attacked. So hopefully we can either add walls or just a crap load of towers around this place. Oh, and damn it. That was a bad place to go. Yes, please. Yes, please. Any sort of defense right now would be smart. Or land. I still need very much land. Convert all stone into iron. Nah. Gathering hut will grab. That will be nice. Uh, I don't know if I need a stone house or not. How much gold do I have? Yeah, you know what? Let's keep going here. Finally found a wonder. So we got the standing stones. We'll grab any wonder we can. And I guess we'll get a gold storage just in case we get a max option when we go to one of the islands. All right. Now I have a big problem right now. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So that should be able to kill one. Goodbye. And we still have one Viking we have to worry about. How much faith do I have? I have lots of faith right now. I should be able to find something. I got Hailstorm. I don't think I have any other Meteor cards. I have that Hailstorm again. I've already used that. Oh, I do have a Meteor in my discard, though. So, damn it. I wasn't lucky enough to get it, and I wouldn't have been able to afford it anyways. So, we just got to let this guy go, I guess. He is on land now. Little jerk. All right, we got our one prayer answered. Claim reward. We get a power card for this. I think I'm going to go for healing roots. And I don't even know why that guy died. Was it because it's winter? Oh, I didn't even see. There's one underneath my fishing platform. God damn you, man. Freak off. Hope I didn't damage my fishing platform. <laughs> All right. Everybody's happy. Sw <laughs> swimming in the winter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I do like that people hide uh, when danger comes. All right. So we'll use healing roots. That will give us maximum health. And spring is here. Finally, another tower. So being that we got attacked over here, let's put this tower here. We'll get the gathering hut out to gather stone, hopefully. Wow, we can get three in here. Okay. Um, I got to figure out my worker situation right now. Towers, we don't need anything on. All right, that should be good. I think we're still gaining a crap load of food. Oh, actually, we're negative seven food now that I took everything off farming. So farming's pretty good. Also, is this thing dead yet? Food per turn zero. So yeah, that tells me there's no fish there. So there's no sense having fishermen with no fish. And actually no fishermen there either right now. So we have to restock the fishies. Uh, we'll put them into farming for right now. Okay. And do I want to connect to this land? Or is there anywhere else where I can utilize this longer land? I guess we're just going to go right here with that. And what do we get? Max out your wood and stone. Wood and stone is doing just fine. So we definitely don't want that. Max out your happiness and faith. All right, well, I guess we get max face so we can reload our cards a bunch. And happiness actually wasn't too low. So I don't either or of those wasn't the best. And I have like no decent cards right now. So it's a bit of a bummer. I just have a bunch of forests. I'm not even putting them down because I have that forest regen. Finally, I've been looking for you. We have our first wonder. Ooh, this is cool. Delve, select any unlock card and add it to your hand, excluding wonders. What do I need? That's the question. I'm just going to search. It might even just be a land tile, honestly, because we have no land tiles left. So that might be good. Wow, there's actually quite a few. Fish could be an option as well, but we're not having food problems. Also have the fishing boat in here, uh, which would be nice. There's not really much I need. More gold output would be nice, but I don't need it. 
Oh, stone walls would be nice as well. Damn it. Um, I think I have to go for just boring land, though. So I think the best land in here was the one at the top, this L shape. Sorry, this uh, this one here. I almost grabbed a forest card. That would have been bad. Uh, I don't see the straight one anywhere. Yeah, we have the filler land. Where's the straight one? The straight one should be in here. What? I, I don't care. We're just going to go for this one right here. And is there anything I can connect to? I guess I can connect to the stone area. And that's really the only close one. So we shall do that. Okay, what do we get for this? Uh, max out my gold reserves. Nice. Or max out my iron reserves. Also nice. I don't know what I need iron for, really. But I do know I can use gold very much so. So we're going to max that out. And then during the harvest, we should be able to get a bunch of cards. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I didn't realize I was being attacked. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we'll grab a tower. <laughs> Did it warn me? I It probably did. All right, so I got mostly defensive cards. Um, Ooh, that will actually be nice. I'm just going to exit. I got to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Sell cards for full, four gold each. Oh, great. We'll get rid of... Actually, I don't want to get rid of all my forests now because I got a new forest card that if we get it, I'll show you it. All right, yeah, we're just going to sell one card. Are you serious? This is what I get first round? Dude, there's so many diff Look at how many all these red ones are damaging cards. I got none. None in my hand. Wow, you really just want to screw me over. All right, Hailstorm. Do we want to do that? Dude, there's so many. I don't even know who to go for right now. I guess anyone that's somewhat close to my main base. These guys should be dealt with. These guys up here, I have nothing to defend against. So we're going to meteor that guy. We'll put a bleed on all these ladies. Uh, and give me one more. I can do a wall, lightning, three damage to a single target. Wet enemies take double damage. Oh, it's just one freaking card or one person though. Wish I could use the meteor storm, but that's not going to happen. I wonder if I should just defensive wall these guys. I think I am going to do that. I don't know if that's the best idea or not. And I can still put land down. I wonder if I can connect to anything. Nope, but we're going to get nice and close to that area. Okay, well, hopefully my towers do work. Uh, let me just make sure all my towers are maxed. Indeed they are, and let the battle commence. I am definitely going to take some damage here. Okay, everybody's moving. Great. That wall seemed to work. They can't actually get around it. <sighs> wow. Did I take no damage this round? Okay, they're, they're, they're fighting my wall. Okay, I'm definitely taking damage this round. I thought I was good. Clearly not. All right, we got an archer we're going to throw down there. Um, sandstorm might be smart. I don't know where I want a sandstorm, though. There's not many left, so I think I'm going to try and do these two. And I need a stone warehouse, so I'm going to throw that down right now. I understand we're fighting right now, but we should be able to be, be fine. I'm going to put a palisade wall there, and New Year time. Okay, please kill these guys. And everyone is down but this one. Did we kill it? Indeed we did. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That could have went way worse. All right, the reason why I wanted the stone storage down so much is to get the next wonder. I need 40 stone storage for that, so I upped up to 70. I still need to get said stone, though, so hopefully we can find some of that. And we're just going to continue to wall off random areas because we need to defend this area. All right, let's get some more people. 25 followers. That's too many. That's too many people, game. All oh, my happiness is going to crumble. I, I need freaking housing now. All right, I'm going to max out my happiness and faith just because that is a crap load of faith. Um, Maybe I should have did my wooden stone so I could put down this wonder. I don't know what was smarter there. All right, and we got the great tomb. I don't even know how I gained this stone, but that is my second wonder. This is 60 plus 60 maximum faith and double the current faith, which is already maxed pretty much. So that's fantastic. Can I put this anywhere? I guess I'll just put it way up here. All right, and that is my second prayer answered. What do we get for this one? I already have healing roots quite a bit, so I'm going to do the bleed to all enemies when I place a tree this turn. I have quite a bit of trees. I don't think we're going to be attacked anytime soon, though. Nice stone wall here. Oh, I can't fit it there, seriously? All right, we're just going to put it over here behind this guy. So what do I still need to do? I, I just need to defend my place so well that we don't die or we don't get attacked at all during my wave. So I want to get a bunch of towers, essentially. Uh, that's really going to be my best plan, I think. And we're being attacked again. Oh, God. So, yeah, it doesn't warn me. I thought I thought it did because of my other run, it did. There's so many. Two damage per tile. Okay, we might be able to... Can I flip this? So, I should be able to get these guys down. 
Did I really just miss? Okay, I, th I thought I missed them for some reason. So that one's all gone. These guys are behind a wall. All right, I got Delve. So I'm going to try and find some sort of damaging card that will help me. Two damage per tile was nice before. Or I could just go for a simple crossbow tower as well. I think crossbow tower might actually be the better option, being that it will stay long term. So yeah, we're going to grab the crossbow tower. Fortunately, I didn't really plan this out. I can't really fit it anywhere unless I maybe put down some land. I can't do that, though, without discarding this tower. So I guess all I can really do is put this here and use it when we can. Um, because we can't use it right now. Okay, we're going to use bloody roots and start placing trees. We get plus one bleed to all uh, units when we place trees this round. So that should be a lot of damage right there. They're all getting bled now. If I can get more trees, that would be great. Of course, this is the time I don't get trees. Fantastic. But we do have lightning. All right, so I want to get rid of these guys. So we're going to put a bleed on them. And we'll put a bleed on these guys too. I don't know how long the bleed takes. It's probably during their turn. Uh, so these guys should die. I'm just going to hit this guy and kill him just because I can. Uh, maybe I should just find more trees. Let's put down more forests. We also have Meteor Strike. Perfect. We can flip this and hit all of these guys. I'm going to hit my unit, though, if I kill them. Oh, I think it's worth it. I really don't want to take any damage here because then I can lose my prayer. So he's still alive anyways. Wow, they're still alive, too. Screw you guys. So we're going to hit one of them. Hopefully, my tower will hit. Will kill the rest of them. We're going to heal my units just because why not? All right, we have six damage here with the lightning. Or sorry, is this a tornado? It's, it's a sandstorm. Wait, I have the sandstorm. Double bleed on enemies within a 5x5 five five radius. When does the bleed happen, though? I already have a 10 on all of these guys. They're going to die. I just want to make sure they don't, they don't hit anything before they die. All right, so I'm just going to deal with this guy over here. I've already pretty much killed the other guys with the bleed. I just want to make sure he's dead. We have another forest. I'm just going to keep throwing down forests to make sure these guys die next round. Uh, their bleed is now at 14. And we'll bleed them even more with that. I mean, I have so much faith right now. I'm just putting down everything. We're just going to keep healing my, my things as well. Again, we'll throw down trees. Why not? I have a whole forest over here now. What's their bleed at? 20. Some of them are at 20 right now. Oh, thank God. All right, we got the meteor storm. We also have a meteor... Oh my god, I just need to kill one now, I think. We should be able to kill this one. And... 12 damage to a single target. Yes! I got it! Is that everybody? Why is the music still on? Did, did I miss somebody? Everyone's dead, game! Oh, everyone's not dead. Everyone's not freaking dead. Freak you guys. Oh, maybe I shouldn't put the stone wall down because that might be considered an attack. Without any of your buildings taking damage. Is this considered a building? I'm not going to risk it. We should be able to easily kill these guys. So, yeah. Plus, they're taking 16 bleed damage. So, I'm happy with this. We're just going to harvest. And they're coming up. But they're not going to be able to make it, obviously. All right. They're doing their attacks, which is just screaming. And they're dead due to the bleed. So, yeah. The bleed ha happens after their attack. Good to know. Did I actually win that one without taking any damage, though? I don't think I did. All right. Well, we're going to focus more on defenses. That's all we really need to focus on now, as long as my units are happy. Mind you, my food issue is becoming a major problem with all these new people. Speaking of that, we need housing, but I have no gold. Crap. Okay, and we did actually successfully do that wave. So we just need to survive one more attack and we're good. My civilization might be unhappy, but I'm keeping them safe. Crap, they're over there now. All right, is this the only thing that's attacking me though? If that's the case, I think we're good. Um, I think we should just put a bleed on them. So we'll bleed them two damage per tile. I can only hit three out of the four. All those are gone. This guy already has a bleed on him. Three damage to a single target. Never mind, he's gone. Done! I am a king! I have to be honest, that was a pretty rough run, all things considered. Especially at the end, without any freaking homeless. I have 40. I have 40 homeless. All right, all we have to worry about now is a boss attack. No big deal. Um, I have, like, nothing left in terms of cards as well. Um, I don't even want to put this guy down because I don't know where he's going to attack from. So let's just hit into the new year. And, oh, great, there's a dragon. Fun. Uh, mind you, I only have to worry about four attacks, it looks like. So... We have Mr. Dragon here. All right, we're going to throw one very brave Javelinier here because I can't get him any closer. He's, he's by the wall, so this is really the perfect thing. 
Uh, double bleed on enemies within a 5x5 five five radius, and we have plus 2 bleed with this. So we shall put a bleed on these and a double bleed. They should definitely die. And we'll do a plus 1 bleed with my god power as well, so everybody is taking 1 damage. So this guy has 22 health. Um, I think he should be hit quite a bit here. Mind you, it's not a lot of damage, as you can see, but most of these are in range. So again, this is like the perfect area for him to attack by. Uh, he seems to be blocked by the wall, so fantastic. These guys are moving up, but they are they have a bleed, so they should die right now, I believe. Oh, what the hell was that? I think that was the dragon attacking. I don't know why my camera's over here, but yes, they're, they're dead. Good. Now all we have to worry about is Mr. Dragon, who now has 46 health. Didn't you just have 20-something? Am I insane? All right, so we're going to put a bleed, a double of that bleed. Actually, maybe I should wait for that. Plus two damage per tile. Well, we'll do that just because why not? Uh, is there anything else I can do? We'll do another meteor strike. Uh, plus two bleed. So now we're at 10 damage. Seems like my guys are a little bit unhappy. I mean, we're at a stable 0%, so let's just make them a little bit happy. There you guys go. Everything's fine. I understand there's a dragon attacking, but chill out. Daddy Dre has you covered. I think. <laughs> Dragon is not happy about this wall. Man, you're, you're a freaking dragon. Just go over the wall, my dude. Uh, I have no money in the name. Like, every, my whole civilization is crumbling. So, I can't even buy anything. I'll buy some fish, I guess. Why not? All right, he's got 22 health left. So, there you go. Attack with the power of fish. Thank you, fish. You guys helped out a lot. And why is this guy this is i love how a dragon is stuck behind a wall like think about that for a second he can't, he can't get by my wall we did it oh that was the best wall placement ever i don't know if that was a good score or not i mean i had to kill a lot of enemies to do that though i have one sad nation but we have two wonders and i did all their prayers so they better be freaking happy oh and i'm ranked four Yet I'm at the top of the list. I think I'm ranked four in the world right now. So I don't mean to brag or anything. This game isn't even out yet. So that's nothing to brag about. Uh, I did try and play a little bit of a harder Ascension level though. So yeah, you can start out and choose how easy or hard the game is. So that was a little bit of a rough one, but we did it. And that is these doomed isles in a nutshell, guys. So yes, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's also a bunch of different gods. You have to level up the gods to go deeper into more gods. Every god has their own unique cards and whatnot uh so there's a lot of replayability here if you guys like this let me know in the comments below maybe we'll play some more uh but yeah that was a quick look at it i hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one